So, uh, you know, we stand by the Salaf. We love the Salaf, but I don't claim to be like them. If you claim to be like them, then what will happen? You will be tested. One of my great teachers, uh, who is Sheikh Muhammad Mahmoud Wil Zidan, a Mauritanian in Medina, beautiful man, mashallah. I used to give him part of my salary every month. He was very poor. And he was very honest. He was a Sunni. He did, he, Wahhabis, anybody that came to him, he told them the truth. And you know him. And he was honest. But he was so beautiful that nobody bothered him. And he'd always teach in the Prophet's mosque. And then one week I came, I wanted to give him what I usually gave him. And he said, uh, my son, he said, you know, don't need this anymore. You keep it. Which, like, I don't want to keep it. You know, he said, no, no. He said, and maybe he took it because I don't like to take it back. If I'm going to give it to you, just take this one, the last one. But he said, I don't need it anymore. And then in about two weeks, uh, he was sitting in the rawda after Salat al-Fajr. And the uh, officer came up to him. He said, Ya Shaykh, qum, get up, leave. Right? And he didn't move. The Shaykh said, the, the, the officer said, qum, get up. And then he looked at him. He said, he's passed away. And he died in the road of sitting. And he didn't even fall over. <coughs> Rahmatullah. And he told me that. He, was like two weeks he said, I don't need your money anymore. You know, Allah have mercy. But during the Gulf War, which was a horrible thing. The Gulf War was a horrible event. And we remember it very well. We were, during, we were in the Hijaz during the whole Gulf War. I saw the whole thing happen. And we were in Medina and the French would come into Medina at night time. You know, you have American troops everywhere. It, this was ugly. This was ugly. And, uh, you know, Sheikh Mohammed Mahmoud bin Zidane, that's when he told me, he said, never, you should never call yourself a Salafi. You know, because he said, if you do, you will be tested with the test of the Salaf. And he said, this is their test. The Gulf War. Why didn't you behave like the Salaf? Why didn't you just tell Uncle Sam that, I'm sorry, you're not allowed here. That we are your allies, we give you your oil and everything, but you cannot set foot on this peninsula. Had they dared to say that, Uncle Sam would have thought a thousand times about ever coming there. But they couldn't even do that. And in fact, you know, we saw the, we saw the uh, transport planes coming in every, what, 30 seconds? One after another for a whole month or more. The whole Hajj airport was nothing but American warplanes. All the airports were empty. That was horrible. That was horrible. That changed a lot of things in the world. May Allah have mercy on us. But again, beware of the maker of claims. We do not make claims. Allahumma wafiq 